so bear with me. But I think we can get some good stuff going. So yeah, we're starting off with uh, Suarez versus Inji. Game one on PS2. I know from past experience. Let me just get there. There we go. I know from past experience that uh, Suarez actually thinks that this is one of Yoshi's best stages, if not his best stage, which is you know kind of a really good thing uh, when it's like the auto starter for a lot of players. Uh, so I would say in the future, maybe consider uh, striking this against a player such as Suarez. But uh, regardless, uh, Pac-Man also very strong on this stage, able to have like a little ceiling above him, which can be really difficult when he puts like the the hydrant like uh, as like a door. So then you have a wall in front of the, just like that, literally that. So then you can't come in from above with an aerial because you can't pass through a stage while with an aerial. Uh, it makes approaching him very difficult. And uh, yeah, so you know, there's some pretty even percents going on so far. Oh. All right, Sinji trying to maintain center. Ooh, okay, doing the the cross up roll with the jab. Kind of a tr uh, risky thing to go for, but you know, pays off. Risk wasn't going to be too great, but like you know, it's like you can react to a roll. Alright, Sinji taking stock one. <laughs> I totally saw it. Yeah, so this is going to be a really good position. Like, obviously, you always want to have the stock lead, but, like, certain characters are going to be able to play towards those strengths uh, more so than others. Pac-Man, you know, being such a reserved character. Ooh, I was going to say, you know, okay, Pac-Man with the lead, you know, he gets to build his literal, like, entire uh, obstacle course that you got to get through. But uh, Suarez, you know, just threading the needle, getting in there, punishing that get-up attack uh, on the ledge, and able to take even up the stocks with the... The, uh, the down B, so really good stuff. One more sec, one more sec. Ah. All right, so yeah, we're, we're on even stocks. So like, because Pac-Man is so slow, just because right now he's up in percent, uh, as long as Suarez doesn't get a little bit too, uh, you know, overzealous, he can actually even up this percentage. Uh, like, not I wouldn't say relative eve. Like he still has to be really on top of things, but like he, as long as he doesn't put overextend to put himself in a in a death situation, then Pac-Man's still gonna struggle to like get that kill because like. You know, Sinji as a player, Pac-Man as a character, like these, these are characters that, you know, you got to kind of like help them out to secure your own demise. So, uh, you know, Suarez, uh, Yoshi, very heavy. Uh, so, you know, we're going to see him live into, my God, 170, uh, 100, nearly 170%. And like I said, uh, you know, now Sinji's percent is getting up there. So now we're going to uh, we're going to shift over into a phase where both of them are going to be like kind of looking for the kill. You know, Suarez did a really good job of bringing that damage back up uh, to try and turn this around, shifting the momentum. Ooh, and actually able to uh, uh, get the read there and do the down B. It might not have been a read. I'm going to check the replay because I actually just... Oh, no. I, I'm actually going to miss it because... Uh, the, the next kill. Oh, no, it was just another roll read. Yeah, perfect. Okay, yeah. All right, so now we have a new completely fresh stock. I would say there is a little bit of momentum, like, in terms of, like, how good you're feeling yourself. Momentum is fake. Uh, but, like, Suarez uh, was able to climb that hill and bring it all the way back uh, and able to take that, that stock first. So, Sinji shaking it off by getting the, the kill, like, in, like, reply, like, right away, giving it pretty even. Ooh, now we're getting kind of a, a repeat situation of what happened on the second stock, where Sinji's at, uh, you know, white percents and Suarez at the scary red. So now, you know, like I said uh, prior, uh, it takes two to tango to try and get uh, Pac-Man to get that kill. You know, you really need to know what his options are to get around them, get through the obstacle course, and just like that, you know, Suarez is able to even up these percentages. Now, you know, given the progression of how things are going, uh, it is kind of up to Sinji to kind of get that kill first. 
uh, because we saw the situation happen and Suarez was able to secure it. All right. Oh, no. Okay, so this really good uh, adaptation or just like awareness of the situation by Suarez. He sees that Sinji has the bell in hand and is like, okay, because like out of shield, uh, like item throw is really good. And that is literally, a, he has a kill setup just at toss. You know, that's a very scary situation to be in and you don't want to overextend. You know, this is something that like uh, a lot of players, you, you want to try be like, oh yeah, I can do, I know what's safe. And it's just like, yeah, you know what's safe in training mode. But like under pressure, when someone is literally at a kill button away from you, like things that are safe, suddenly your timing is tough and it might be less safe. But uh, Sinji keeping it cool uh, and uh, actually just able to get, you know throw that apple. Let's uh, let's actually take a look at that again. He uh, threw the apple, knowing that because uh, he was so far, right? Suarez felt that he was in no danger to just get off the ledge and didn't react to the apple getting thrown there. So you see the like. Let's get the let's get a nice little pause here, right? So like he threw it, and I'm pretty sure at this point, Suarez are probably like already buffered jump because he didn't see uh, Sinji approach, right? And so because of that, he was like, "I'm gonna jump, like check me out," and then he just gonna right into it, literally the first frame. Anyway, getting into game two. Uh, all right, so just for reference. Uh, Sinji's bands were Battlefield and Smashville. I can kind of understand that. You know, Yoshi's a very uh, uh, mobile character, and he's very heavy. So Battlefield, you don't want all that dimensions of movements and mix-ups with all those platforms and the fact that the extra big blast zones, uh, Yoshi will live forever. And we could already see that, like, Sinji was kind of struggling to get the kill, right? Small Battlefield has normal, uh, normal, uh, what is it, blast zones. And then uh, getting rid of Smashville, um, <sighs> I'm not too sure. Uh, probably just because of the high ceiling, I would say. Anyway, uh, moving on to game two. This is kind of, like I said uh, in game one, uh, Suarez kind of considers, at least a little while ago, uh, PS2 to be one of Yoshi's best stages, if not his best. Uh, so I could see this being more of the same, or maybe like a, in a more improved version of it for what Yoshi and Suarez get out of it, you know? Uh, so, and, and like, it's already proving just a little bit, just a little bit, uh, in Suarez's favor, you know, getting, getting that extra damage, uh, swimming around, good lord, just moving through the air, just so fluidly. Wow, actually reading that, uh, was gonna get the cross up on the down smash to, on, on the dash attack to get the grab. Oh boy! Ooh, but Sinji, seeing that he's falling a little bit too far behind and starts turning on the gas. Ooh, okay, that's gonna be yep, that's gonna be a stock for Sinji taking the uh, taking the lead on Suarez's counter pick. This is gonna be a pr uh, quite precarious situation, especially if Suarez gets a little bit uh, antsy. You know, small battlefield is a smaller stage than PS2. PS2 being the literal widest stage in uh, the, the legal stage list of any stage list. Uh, you know, having that extra space can be really good. Although maybe he wants it to be close quarters because you don't want uh, Pac-Man to have as much space. But it doesn't matter. Gonna have that rising uh, back air, reading the jump and knocking him off. Tail whip, so strong in this game. Why? All right, but uh, Sinji now with a pretty solid lead. Eh, I, you know, it's like that early lead. So, well, Yoshi isn't like a big combo character, so we're not gonna see any like crazy big damage. Oh, uh, uh. man, still able to get the uh, the up smash follow up on the bell, even though like he wasn't on the ground. He got like, already so aware of the timing that it takes, uh, you know, just how long that stun lasts, which is honestly years. Suarez going for one Hail Mary, just like, I'm going to throw it. I think I got this window. Misses it, but, you know, not going to really uh, have any repercussions. Back throw going to be taken. Suarez to his last stock. Oh, okay. I, why was I even surprised? The Pac-Man's making it back. Who are we kidding? <laughs> All right. So now we're in a really good uh, position for Sinji here. You know, full stock lead, already lapped in percent. Oh, <laughs> that extra credit really coming through. Um, and yeah. Suarez really has his work cut out for him. Oh my god. I. Okay, he's just doing regular Yoshi things. I thought he was going to go for something, like, completely crazy. Like, imagine if you downbeat to hit him and then hit the trampoline or something, like, wild like that. 
Yoshi mains. Uh, don't go for it, or maybe go for it if you got the balls. Oh, but the melon going to be taken out. Suarez's last stock. And Sinji going to be winning 2-0. And game two with a two stock. Yeah, let's see that again. I was actually swatting at a fly. Uh, so gets hit by the melon into the melon again. Oh, my God. He, he just drifted into it because he didn't realize that like that was that situation was gonna happen that's actually pretty pretty something so yeah um <laughs> good stuff to Sinji. moving on the next match we're gonna be having is frozen versus john number 